Okay, for assignment number three, I want you to be able to really control the focus and be able, so I'm gonna line up two things here. And I'm gonna take a photograph with this in focus as my foreground object. And then I'm gonna reverse that. I'm gonna take a photograph with the angry bird um, as my uh, subject, okay? Let me move this over here better so you guys, so it's centered better in vi video here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, line things up here. I'm going to make sure that it, by holding it halfway down, I'm gonna make sure that it focuses on the robot. Work with my rule of thirds, move them over to the side. So I had to adjust a couple things, just little, it's little things like making sure not to cut off the top of the tuff of the robot, I mean of the angry bird. And you notice he's on this third here. And I'm gonna hold that close to the camera there so you, you can really see it. It's beautifully in focus. The angry bird is slightly out of focus. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of glass on the front of this, so you're not gonna get a lot of depth of field. That's depth of field. When the background is blurry, that's called depth of field. Okay, so that worked out good, but now it's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna make the robot blurred and the angry bird in focus. So, okay, so I'm gonna go back there. This time I'm going to, to just get the angry bird. So I'm, I'm out, and then I recenter it. You see, I know that the angry bird is focused because the little box is still on the angry bird. Get the angry bird looking good again. So I'm not cutting him off. Oh, wow, it's actually that was kind of weird with the flash, but look at how well uh, that turned out. Let me see if I can, I can show you by zooming in on the, on, up here you can do a little zoom in. Oops, oops. Yeah, you can see that the, the uh, robot is actually out of focus right there. I don't know if it won't move over, no. But the angry bird is completely in focus. So that's exactly what we wanted. That's an opposite of the first one. The first one, the robot was in focus, the angry bird was out of focus, and this one uh, was reverse of that. So assignment number three is for you to demonstrate to me that you understand how the focus thing works. So you want something in the foreground in focus and then you reverse it some the, the object in the background in focus so i'll see both those photos with opposite things being in focus that shows me that you really understand how to control that on your phone you would be tapping you know like the, this phone has a tap screen so you tap on you would tap on the robot and it would focus on the robot and then you take your picture or you tap on the angry bird and it focus on the angry bird and you take your picture so phones work a little bit slightly different than the camera does the camera works off of this you know holding down the the shutter button slightly so it locks the focus. Here, we can do that again. It's gonna do a flash on it. Yeah, it's working great. Uh, so anyhow, uh, that's what that assignment is. So I want to be able to see that you know how to work with a foreground. And that also makes for an interesting photo when you have a foreground and a background image. It's called like framing the photograph, okay? I'll, I'll demonstrate that one more time. Maybe um, I'll take a picture of the Purell bottle and I'll use these two objects here to frame it. Okay, so there. Okay, nope, see now I, I saw that he focused on, oops, he focused on the Angry Bird, which I don't want. I want to focus, okay, they found the Purell bottle, it's focused. Let me just get in a little bit tighter, nope, come on. There it is, found the Purell bottle, I recenter how I want the shot, and then I put it in, and there we go. So uh, that's just using a little bit of foreground in there, just makes for an interesting photograph when you have uh, some things on the side in the foreground. It's called framing your shot. Um, sometimes you'll see it with a little branch coming into a shot or something. Uh, but uh, anyhow, uh, that's, that's that assignment. You don't have to do this, this last one here. Just show me with two objects that you understand how the focusing works there, okay?